Hello, welcome back to part two of episode 12 of the Fuse Rights Union. I think you guys were talking about some kind of score. Ah, rally. Yeah. A rally of innocence. <laughs> uh, it's a rally. It's a, it's a rally of protecting scientific integrity. <laughs> Specifically the scientists who have no integrity. <laughs> <laughs> the scientists without integrity. Yeah, they, they did. Um, Why is it so like a Stars Without Number hack? Oh, that's such a good Stars Without Number hack. That's like oh. that's not a hack, but that is a um, that's like a, that, a, that's a mission module. That's one of the there should be that, several that random tables for reasons. generating pseudo scientific <laughs> experiments. I think that's a one like like a booklet like adventure for Stars Without Number. It's like scientists without integrity. <laughs> that would be a good one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to look up like faction stuff, but um but, yeah, so I the the general idea was to try to get the scientists to like us or the Scotland refugees to like us enough to trust us with the scientists and how the scientists were victims too. Well, it's um, more getting the scientists as a um probably a as like a, a gang of scientists gang but of, also uh, yeah, getting but yeah. yeah getting the allies of the Scovlin refugees because they're at plus two. So then we yeah. could always use the refugees as, like, our people. Because then that, mm -hmm. that will only reinforce um, getting the crew upgrade later of yeah. uh, Accord. Yeah. yeah. So then to, we can use our also, allies as turf. Yeah. And yep. to Marissa's point that you had mentioned, I don't know if this was on or off air, uh, but... You're right. The people of Crowsfoot do not like us. They're only so a minus, only rally one, minus one. Probably not be They're... there. But minus one is they will do whatever they can to harm us if it is convenient for them. And if we're holding a rally in Crowsfoot, it's very yeah. convenient for them to uh, sabotage. I, that. I think that's where our I think that's where our elite thugs come in. As Keep security. The <laughs> no, they're just security. They work security for the rally. <laughs> We we get our gang of elite thugs to solve that very problem as rally security. A perfectly legal, normal job. That, that seems their principles will not be harmed by. That seems reasonable, and they're working for well, they don't really care about the Scovlanders. Yeah, and we also sell t shirts or something because we get plus They've... two coin for a socialized score. They're <laughs> lamp <laughs> Their Rally lamp swag. blacks and the blue coat <laughs> took over their uh their old house. Anything to do with that? No, I don't know. It could be their old lamp black, so this is where they live, right? Yeah, they yeah. most oh. of them live in this neighborhood anyway. This is where we recruited them, so they're, you know, keeping security against their neighbors, saying no, dude. Well, it's, it's not like security of keeping people out. It's that when someone draws a baton to like start whacking people, they're around. Yeah, they they're more worried security. about a whisper campaign, honestly. They got a big security. Well, they're idiots. Is the problem? <laughs> I, I just, you're right. A whisper campaign would be worse, but these are not. Uh, <laughs> they're not the gang of scientists we're hoping to get. Where's the like rules for faction levels and what that means? Like when they're minus one, minus two, like uh, I can't find that. In That's the more, book. I think, positioning. Except for minus three, I think minus one and minus two are more fictional positioning. Yeah, no, there's yeah, like who can talk mess with you? No, oh, okay. I just don't remember where it is because I'm the only stuff I'm finding in my PDF is um, like the factions as like a list i should really keep yeah. a copy of the book blades in the dark in this room let's try uh, that tier hold development um, oh yeah oh. it's up ah here we go it's page 46 faction status levels plus three allies oh. this faction will help you even if it's not in their best interest to do so they expect you to do the same for two them Friendly okay. will help you if it doesn't create serious problems. Helpful will help you if it causes no problems, significant cost, and of course the negatives are the opposite of those in a bad way. Yeah. Yeah. So minus one so means my, they will look for opportunities minus to cause trouble. This one is the fact action will 
okay, I think we caught up because you were roboted and it was like it's we're still having some robotiness with Sen. Uh, Just started. Uh, okay. Uh yeah. minus okay. One, yeah. Minus one is interfering. Oh, this. They'll look for opportunities to cause you trouble or profit from your misfortune as long as it causes no problems or significant costs for them. They expect the same for you. But I think with a rally that we that's on our turf that we provide security for, like it's gonna like be, it'll be too much hard. For them. It'll be real hard to just interfere without doing an outright attack. Because I'm more worried. Want to have it on our turf? Like, wouldn't it make more sense to have it? Oh, over we get a bonus corner? setup action. We get a yeah, bonus down action. Setup. But that's only for if we're doing show of force on our turf. And if this is show of force, I am very concerned as to what this rally is really. Oh, supposed no, to be. it's a socialized rally. Do we not get it for? Yeah, yeah we no, only we get, just it get it for show of our, force. Uh, preferred. Uh, yeah, oh. only preferred. So if that's the Why case, I think so... just take this up in Char Hollow. Yeah. You're At likely to get a better turnout in Char Hollow. Border borders. We still I'm worried about... <laughs> yeah. I'm worried about the... <laughs> the freaking Spirit Wardens being like, hey, they say they're having a rally, let's go get them. Like, that'll be the obvious one that's gonna come yeah, down. We still need security because <laughs> of the war. <laughs> You could yeah, do so downtime we, actions, flashbacks, or free play to get what you need. So let's change our tactic. We don't have a rally. We just go to them. Okay. Don't do it in public. Just go. Yeah. Yeah. But a rally so much cooler. <laughs> it, it, is, it is, but we just go to them. You can tie grind up and bring him, bring him along, and be like, "Here's your man." Now we got we go some to shit them. to talk about. We bring some t-shirts to sell because if it's socialized, we're making money. Off of it anyway. I don't think we make money on the t-shirts. I think we make the money for turning grind. In. I think the two coin we is for bringing grind. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's awful. Oh, that's awful. But that's a whole. That's just like a conversation and not like a score is the thing. I think the score is convincing them, like the the angry mob, like, hey, these scientists are like not malicious right like they just were working on not things. so much the angry mob but the leaders who are holding said angry yeah, mob. and then letting fine. them convince the angry mob yeah fine so let's pocket that score that rally idea because i oh, really yeah. want to rally idea. now <laughs> okay so this is gonna we get, get that, way have... too like real life before long yeah i do have uh, one yeah. downtime action i want to do um okay. just working on that uh long-term project which long-term project? Spend, uh, the uh, anti-demon coding. Ah, yes. So your long-term project, not the moving project that we're only half full on. Hey, well, we're good. I'll, we I'll spend like two, two more coin. scores. I'll spend okay, two coins because I have I have an idea on that too. Okay. Um. So yeah, it's just a tinker roll for the long-term project. And that's a six. So that's okay. what, three, I think. Uh, yeah. yes, three ticks on the clock on a three. Okay, on a and six. So yeah, Grind spends probably a couple nights working on that formula, and then a thought occurs to him that uh, all of this stuff we've installed here needs to be easily uninstalled. So I think another tinker roll going around and and making sure we can like take all the security stuff down quickly and, and everything else to, to make moving easier. Mm -hmm. Quick release uh, tripwires. Well, I think it'll be more designing and replacing the housing on all of the things. So instead of a permanent fixed one, so we move to the new place, we don't repeat the problem. It's like you build the housing for the alarm to stick up easier. So you can just like pop the box off with like a bat. You just like hit it and it pops off like a, a, a hook that we mm. can easily replace, like, get a new hook and put the new box on the, like, hook in the new place. So, yeah, like, snap-on parts. Yeah, snap-on mm. <laughs> well, parts. Grind invents Velcro. Velcro, command <laughs> hook. You can invent command, command hooks. <laughs> I'm like, these are command hooks, and those were a problem. <laughs> um. So, yeah, if I can just roll a tinker roll on that to advance it further. Is this... Yep. Effect matters. Here. I think that's fine. Um, you're doing it as free play? I'm doing it as a downtime action. Okay, then it'll just be based on the roll. Okay. Effect will just be. won't matter either. Oh, 
bonus. Another six. Nice. Very there nice. Fills that more clock. Ticks. Uh, not quite. One oh. It would be one away. So next, we do the next mission, and then we just have the crew. Yeah, and then the next uh, one is the crew next... moving all of our stuff. Yeah. Okay. So you yeah, guys are pretty good. Hopefully, we'll know where we're moving to by that point. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll throw a dart, and we'll figure it out that way. <laughs> <laughs> Edric also has a quick downtime action at one least points when Grind was coming home. Uh, we'll find him as we usually have found him, you know, waiting outside the door saying, hey, heal me, please. You need to stop getting into so much trouble as this is getting... Um, oh. It's to the point that I know your body better than you do. It's... <laughs> All right, yeah, I can, I can <laughs> attempt sure to tinker right you out of some problems. But... Yeah. Not sure either. Yeah, <laughs> um, but yeah, I think you get plus one die because it's Adric. Yeah, so I think it's four die. It's uh three. Should be four because plus one for your healing, plus one for my healing. And oh, that's right. Die. You have a you have a healing. Yes. God. Adric's so Wolverine. more dice. That Oops. last die, yeah, six. Perfect. And that's what I needed. Thank that's you. That's it for because yours is only a three clock, right, Adric? So that's a full uh, yes. heal. One exactly. Roll. So the spirit drain that I've been just ignoring for the last forever is finally gone. I am no longer haunted by the past ghost thing, and the burn is slowly going away. Yeah. Oh, so. burn! Wait, when did I get a burn? Oh yeah, I checked some. Uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. The fire one, weapons. One tiny free play action. I just mm -hmm. want to study the body or, or, or uh, Adric as I'm doing it. Because, <laughs> I was wondering about like, that. I know that metagame wise, I know that someone else has, has been poking around. Yes. I want to see if I notice those pokes. Okay. Um, okay, let's do a study roll. I don't think this will... I think at best, this might open without adding to a long-term project. Um, it'll, it'll give you some information, though, either way. Okay. Can't really help you with studying. Nope. <laughs> okay! Apparently you've healed. <laughs> yes. Like, Portal's the bigger thing. thing. I heal real fast. Yep. I think, yeah, no, Adric, uh, it, if you didn't know any better, Adric feels like they were naturally born this way. Except for the fact that they said they weren't. Um, okay. Before, before the score, Hix wants to go to grind and ask you like Advil or something. My bones are all still bruised from the beating last time. And before uh, I think, if I could get whatever your power is to ignore a level of harm, that would be swell. So uh, the timing on that would be uh problem it, it will only last for a couple hours i'm going to stop there the study was free play which means there is a consequence for the one more than just you don't mm. do it it was uh, right. we didn't do efficient effect it would have been controlled um so i think unless you resist it i'm going to fill one tick on spirit warden's attack they might have been someone following you part way during your walk home grind oh yeah i'll i'll resist okay definitely It so. is only one tick. Oftentimes, resistance uh, will just, re depending on what it is, just reduce a tick anyways by one. Oh, right. Reduce the number of ticks by one anyway, yeah. so it's not bad. Um, but also, when they attack with robots... That's true. Okay, you take two stress, and they do not... You are not followed even slightly. <laughs> or drug them again true okay we're all good indigo what were you saying you got you were i was gonna ask the ability but it only lasts for two hours our we're the like painkiller ability than... yeah would that take more than two hours like to most scores right? don't um it's just if something is like we need to transport something from far off into the deathlands back to our base in duskwall that might take yeah. like that's the maximum i can think of that would take weeks at yeah, least this week. score is basically a big old bluff of like one conversation as a bluff as we drop Brian in the middle and say say our piece to get 
And you with less effect is not a good call here. Yeah, I just want yeah. to get rid of the less effect before just, that. Yeah. Conversation. Before you go. Fact of the matter is, it depends. Um, it could go yeah, longer, so. especially if they want some time to think about it. Then they could delay, like not intentionally delay, but like, okay, give us till tomorrow, and then we would continue the score a day later, where you'd have to redo that. Um, and it would it wouldn't be downtime in between. It would just be like the next day we continue this conversation or something like that. Yeah. Um, so uh, I it, think the gamble of starting with me not having less effect would be worth it, but that's yeah. that would be Hicks's proposal. But if Brian, like, as the medical professional in the group says, oh, that's not going to work, then I'm not going to, like, push the issue. Well, I mean, it, if it would work, he would tell you it would work. Like, I, I was just quoting the ability that it only lasts for an hour or two. Yeah, yeah, I gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, physical could cool. work. Um, weird to roll that it is like, kind of but i think it's because you're doing it in the middle of it of something else happening yeah. um there's also the fact that the consequences could be actually the harm somehow there's a bad reaction to the medicine and the harm gets worse or something like yeah. that oh can yeah. we also pick load are we jumping right into it no are we, oh, we were. i know we yeah, did that yeah i don't have anything else that's crucial i yeah. don't think let's do the, I, the oh, rundown who else has things? Okay. I'm good. Um, I'm good, yeah. Okay. I mean, unless then you want I'm that physical, first. but we can do that later. I think we're jumping yeah, into it sure. then. So hop it into it. Um, I'm probably going to go light load again because I don't want to look like I'm showing up to this event with like guns sticking <laughs> out of my pockets. It's a bad look. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, is it an event or is this like just a, a meeting? Like you bring well, the, Brian. The, the score, as it were, is the bluff of the meeting, where we show up with Brian, like, hands tied, and, like, let's do this thing, let's, let's yeah. figure this out. All right. But we have an agenda, whereas they don't have a specific agenda other than capture the scientist. Yep. We have the agenda of changing their mind. Yeah. I think that's the it, tension. It's got to be a social plan, then. Oh, it's totally a social plan. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so... Yeah. Let's do this. Uh, planning and engagement. I'm going in normal. I'm the one guarding. Grind. Yeah, the social connection is grind, basically. Yeah, I'm also grind. Is grind. yeah, but Hicks is going to not um, look like do you... guns in his pockets because that's going to get us in trouble. <laughs> I'm going light. Okay. Uh, well, I'll leave the other stuff and information gathering to flashbacks. You do know Hutton's office, but Hutton is missing. Um, I think that office was sort of is where you can still take him to whoever is is also like in charge or taking up his position he is a leader in multiple organizations and they're not exactly the same role in each organization but that's still a good place to, to bring yeah brian to so i think we see uh you guys pull up but let, let's do let's do this yeah let's do engage choose your load can yes. I narratively get away with heavy just being like you guys jump me, and I was like on the run? Uh, see, narratively heavy, I don't know. I we doubt it. When you're on your run, the, and the first thing they would say was to strip strip off all your stuff. You, like if you if you kidnap someone, you're turning it as a prisoner. But, you don't let them keep the guns in their pockets. But grind don't roll with guns. He rolls with tools and a bandoliers. They probably yeah, still, if 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 the end like any remotely smart NPC would be like, all right, get the get that stuff off him, get rid of his utility belt while he's a prisoner yeah. or things like that. All right. Yeah. So I'm probably forced into light at this point. Like, uh, I'd say normal arguable. is fine. Yeah. Normal would be arguable, but heavy, I think, is out out of hand. Yeah. Okay. We got this prisoner. Why is he still wearing his riot gear? Get his take his helmet off. <laughs> things like that. Um everyone has picked? Yep. 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 Okay. Engagement roll. So, uh, oh one die for sure luck. Is this operation particularly bold or daring? Yes. I'd say yes. <laughs> Lion's mouth, yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Is it overly complex or contingent on many factors? No. You're no, no. trying to convince them to let Grind go and the other scientists go. It's not complex. It's not e necessarily not easy. But it's not complex. Supervised work. Not imprison or execute or anything like that. Just, yeah. just yeah. at worst, house arrest. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, does the plan expose a vulnerability of the target or hit them where, they're, where they are weakest? Now, this isn't like you bring in grinder. Of course, they're going to let you bring grinder. It's, it's, are they particularly vulnerable to being convinced? Um, I don't think they are. I, they're not, partic they're not I mean, strong against it. Not but strong. Are, are they going to be on guard for it if, they're, if we're bringing a prisoner? Um, I don't think. I think, I, that's I think the, that exposes a vulnerability. I think that's the bluff. The bluff is that we're bringing a prisoner because if we fail, grind's still a prisoner. And I think that that unexpected risk might be a like a functional bluff. I think they wouldn't expect us to just hand them over, which we do straight up. That's the first thing we do is just okay. Up, then if you do that, over. then yes, then, they'll be taken aback a bit. Yeah, and it'll be like a good faith. It'll be a lot more in good faith, this discussion. Yeah, we're, we're at plus two with them, so we're good. Yeah, so that's three dice. They're not strongest against this approach or particular defense or special preparations. Um, I have a friend. You have a friend who's helping? I have a friend who can help. Okay, oh. who's helping? Melvier. Oh, how is Melvier involved in this? Wait, who is she, Melvier? What's the, my physiker? Your witch Where doctor, resurrection lady. Mm. with the iguana and the crow she could be because grind has gone to her before right yes i think yeah i think yeah. so so she could vouch like hey here's the things like i've heard he's done right she could be an extra voice there a character in for for grind. Grind. yeah a character. stasi is on my list so i mean if she's there we have a yeah. friend already there but yes but i don't know if she's uh specifically She's not going to gonna help win her own freedom? No, she will help. I, I don't, don't know if she will be care. able to help you to a degree where it'll give you a plus one. Yeah. Like, it says can provide no aid can. or insight. She will still try, but I don't know if it'll be effective. Just because her position is already lowered by the, just the sheer fact of being a yeah. prisoner? But Melder's yeah. a good idea if you get her involved. That's four yeah, I would. I would get her, like, if anything, I'd just, like, tie a note to Varys and send him off like as we're taking grind like hey i need you to come back up my friend <laughs> like, or any uh, enemies or rivals interfering in the operation yeah, oh, oh, yeah. Probably, there's a war on <laughs> yeah uh just as a clarification before we are leaving i am setting the gang or whatnot you know watch the house watch the turf these are the two things. You're doing no some trolls the, now. No one yeah. gets the night off today. Yeah, no. Everyone's, everyone's yeah. on. <laughs> Full alert, and if someone slips by, I'm blaming you. Just, just to point out the mechanical thing that I was reading, like, I don't think anybody can attack the lair until we're tier zero. Lair is always considered sacrosanct until your tier is down low enough that they can. And how does your okay? We'll figure that out in between. I don't know how you're. I, I read it in the book somewhere. I'll I'll find it. But yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. Um. And then plus or minus dice depending on other factors such as tier scale, situational advantage, or disadvantages. We are at three right now. A little higher tier than us. Not only that, there's also as you'll find out more than one of them you have to convince. So it's going to be two dice. However, could I counter with we're at plus two status with them? They'd be more willing to hear us out. I think that'll come into play in other I ways. I think that was all... Yeah, I think that was, for, for the engagement role specifically, already part of exposing a vulnerability. Okay. So just two dice. Two dice. Who wants to roll? Turn to roll? I mean, I oh, gotta roll it, right? Yeah, I, I think that's right. 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 roll. <laughs> 2d6. 2d6. I think that means next job I have to roll because I think all three of you are gone. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> okay. Oh, 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 oh. Good. So oh. I might be useful after all. I think that what happens is um, as you start bringing Grind through Char Hollow, like bring him towards the space. There's like whispers, people are looking, people recognize Grind, people are like, it's him, it's him, it's him. And you don't even get to the building where your meeting is. In front of the building is a group, it, it, an angry mob is forming, waiting for you guys before you even step inside the building. Ready to like, take Grind, maybe the rest of you if you try to stop them, and handle things their own way. Um, there's, It's not gigantic right now, 
for the size that an angry mob is like it's not like 50 people it's probably more like just a, a dozen or two um they're all look they're all like angry and as you approach and there are people on the left and right that are more like walking alongside you guys oh, and giving you oh, glares yeah Adric has something that he'd like to do like, yeah, hold back like a little yeah. bit and get an approach because we can see the mob like, yeah it's more like when you turn the corner you see them at the other end of the block yeah yeah and there's people on either side of you giving you angry glares and they're like they're not over there but they're they feel like they're part of it they're like trying to push you towards it or or Get in the way if you try not to. Patrick's approach to this is just keep on going, and, you know, uh, I'm going for a command here on just get out of our way. We have people to see. Or You have no right to be here. And X will, will object at that point, or we can just give them something else to chase. The so entire that's... point here is to get the innocent sense. We might as well get in and do that. Like getting them distracted. We want them here, we just want them on our side. And in order to do that, we need to get past them first. Ah. Uh, Hicks was more thinking, break through the window and have the mob go and glue to store. <laughs> <laughs> that was I'm his plan. I'm sure that really debating here on this one. <laughs> that, was, that was his plan. Throw a break through something. It's like, oh god, it's over there. Jump, jump in. <laughs> I think the plan should be convince them that we have to go through a certain process. Mm, you see, yeah, right. uh, I get like, plus one die out of distraction. Yeah, but breaking a window for the people who were saying, <laughs> "We, you need to like us," it doesn't sound like a great call. You could be the distraction of talking to the mob as we slip him by. So what yeah, do you guys I wanna, do? I want to go prosel uh, uh, proselytize to the mob. Oh, stoke fun. their righteous fury against someone. Adric is minorly fed up with this, you know, I'll, frustrating I'll arguing. Figure, I'll figure it out as I go. But I want to just like join the mob and start with like a chance <laughs> to try to get it to catch and move everyone away from. Slaughter grind about and more more of a chance of like bring them in. Okay. To a trial, like, so you're. Kind of... It sound it does actually sound to me like you're half distracting them while yes. you're you're, Still you're more to get the misdirect. Bonus. Okay. I think. What would this be? It's a weird like double group roll. I think I would I would argue, wreck you are uh. <laughs> Creating a distraction and chaos. I'm removing an obstacle. I am, I am wrecking an obstacle with carefully applied sabotage. <laughs> He's our inside man. Yeah, I'm gonna say no to that. I think you're more trying to distract them by talking. I th this is still attack. This is still distracting. It is still a distraction for your your ability. But I don't think it's distraction for I'm changing Rick. attitudes yeah. or behavior with manipulation. Yes. I'm controlling the herd with with manipulation. Wait, Is this a, bluff. Yeah. a I'm gonna <laughs> let's let's start our first clock for the score. Uh, and that will be um the crowd riots. And it's gonna be a four <laughs> clock. We get the opposite like clock the... too. We get an opposite <laughs> of the cloud crowd riots. Like, the crowd backs us. Like, by both clocks. I'm not saying no to the riot one. Yeah. Both. Um... I like how this is the second crowd riot clock in Charles. <laughs> yeah. Don't think it's going to be the last. We're going to no. keep with these. <laughs> They're soccer fans in Char Hollow. They, they know how to party. <laughs> <laughs> so, in terms of the crowd being on your side, I guess my first question is, what are you trying to have them be on your side about? Oh, that we need to gather them all, like, less of the murder side and more about, like, like I don't know. Like, but, doing a trial instead of just immediately, yeah. like, hanging them. That would be the crowd thing, it's like, find out what really happened, what's the truth angle, yeah. as opposed to the, like, take them down angle. So expose the truth is probably the clock, right? Well, you guys don't know the truth yourself, I assume. 
uh, at least we, what we exactly. Well, the, know the truth. The, you the know truth I, we're trying to which get truth? across is that like the scientists had nothing to do with this. They were just working on they a project the, like yes, any other. Did. Okay, so they, let's yes, start a clock for the, the crowd is convinced of of Grind's innocence. That will be separate from convincing the people inside. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. no, totally. I just I just wanted a counterpoint to the crowd riots clock so we can see where yeah. things lie. Like That'll this isn't as... even like they go away. It's just like they're not gonna immediately like hang him before we get him through the door. Yeah. Yeah. Or hang any of the other scientists before we get them in, in this. Yeah. Did I ever fill out that other character? No, I didn't. I should probably do that <laughs> while you guys talk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah, six o'clock. The crowd finds Grind innocent. Or the scientists. Uh, yeah, you're right. In that case, it's an eight o'clock. It's all of them. Got four o'clock to riot. <laughs> you the, you rolled a yeah, really bad opening roll, and they're already yeah, there. Like, all right, well, right. well I brought my pitchfork. Scientists already. Like, right. <laughs> yeah. fine. They've already started the kidnapping. I understand. Um. <laughs> all right. So, what's my position here? Uh. Your position here is very much desperate. Now, Ooh, my question cool. is for effect, are you trying to fill a clock or are you trying to set up Adric to get inside? I'm trying to set up, not set up, I'm specifically trying to provide a distraction while they're worried with all the talking I'm doing. Okay. To get the whole group inside. This is very get everyone else inside. a get everyone inside role. Maybe if I crit, I can get on the other clock, but that would be Mitigate like Mitigate negative effects from whatever I'm going to do to try and get us inside. Or prevent the need from you beating people up. I don't <laughs> intend to beat people Either way, verbally. this sounds like it's probably inside. a setup. But only verbally. Um, if you want to also yes. try to fill the clock, then it would not be a setup mechanically. It just might change position or effect. Yeah. But it wouldn't the, be as the, definitive the, yeah, as the intent said. for this role is to get the team inside. Okay. Or to provide the distraction for them to get inside. And yeah, it'll be desperate. You'll have all you'll get their attention. Uh, but I think this is a setup then that especially if it's a group action for the others to get inside, then they can all use. Yeah. Um we, and just to clarify, am I under the physiker ability currently? Flashback? Is I that just... a flashback or a flash that not a, or just a right now I pop some Advil? Uh, Derek. Grind cannot currently. Sh 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 it's a bad idea to release Grind from custody in order to treat your wounds right now. Yeah, I think. But could I have? Probably... But we because did Darth mention was... it before. Before, yeah, I, yeah. I mentioned it we before the, the whole thing just to get that set up. Yeah, I could have just given him the medicine to take when it's needed to be taken. Okay. I think because we did already have a scene about that zero stress flashback to to deal with that, and we can have that tinker okay. roll. Tinker roll. So, uh, um, this will I think still be desperate, though. This will actually be how they react to seeing Amos, like seeing you take the pills, basically. Um, yeah, if I like reach in my pocket. Yeah, and pop like, the he's got a bomb. The they always have bombs. <laughs> He made himself into all the bomb. <laughs> so, ju just so we're clear, it's my tinker roll that affects. In this case, picks? because he's the one who's going to be taking the medicine. Okay. Yeah. Some of the consequences right. might blow back onto him. That seems fair. Uh, I don't think effect matters. It just happens, or it doesn't, or do we need effect here? Um, effect doesn't matter here. It's just that it's. Yeah. He ignores a harm penalty, so choose one of the harms you have. I only have one. Perfect. So. Um, Devil's Bargain Hicks. Well, no, it's technically it's it's Grind's roll out of supply. Then actually, is one tick on that. Mm. And we just got one back, right? Yes, we just got one back from yeah. raiding Stasia's house. And this is probably some of the heroin? medicine. This could be yeah, some yeah. of the stuff from Stasia's medicine. I took medicine. some Stasia. Yeah, that makes too much sense for me to not take it. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. It fits. Give me some pills you picked up from Stasia's yeah, place. I, I don't know what these are. They're purple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they'll <laughs> totally help. Better. That's a five. That's five. Okay, so you ignore it, but. I think um, so many options Just here. Drop the effect on 
his roll? Well, no, it's a setup roll. So the effect wouldn't matter. Fair. Um, I think... So, you're feeling very... Um, uh, no, inflicting harm for this doesn't make sense. From the, the side effects of the drugs. Because you are doing this to ignore harm. Could just be stress. I think the crowd... For, I think um, as you pop the pills, uh, Hicks, um, one of them mentions how, like, those pills are probably something that, that Grine gave you. And some, like, I think some of them are aware of, that Grine has been known to treat medicine sometimes. Oh, yeah. Um, and so they're saying that, like, week. yeah, and they call, start calling you a junkie and saying that you're just there on, like, on his orders, you're just a, a flunky of his of grinds. Um, Whatever, some of them are calling him, are, are basically saying, insinuating that he's some kind of some kind of criminal mastermind, and you're all his stooges. Uh-huh. <laughs> Mind control drugs. That's Mind control drugs. Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> so they're like, look, look, it's one of those. They're purple. No natural pill is purple. <laughs> it's not like I natural already pill. have magic snake eyes. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put three ticks in the crowd riots. And oh, God. they're already like three, three for like a desperate it's desperate it is desperate yeah. no they're they're already a hair trigger away from attacking uh, um okay. what is my effect? if you would like to uh, i'd say in this case either hicks or grind can resist that consequence i wouldn't say both but you can resist yeah. to reduce it that by one tick how much insight you got oh insight i got two I got three. And I can take the stress. Okay. So. Uh. The resistance in this case is, is probably. Um, I guess making the, it being uh, more covert in how they're administered or something. Maybe you take, like, you took the pills before he's in public, but they're, like, slow acting, and so now it starts to affect him. Exactly. Well, it's just, it, yeah, like, one person notices, and only a couple people hear him shouting it out. Yeah, and then they like, quickly forget. through the crowd as much. Yep. Okay. It's just one of the many shouts that's happening. Yep. Take one stress. Okay, take one stress. Okay. So, am I effect level? Um. It's a setup. It's a setup action. Doesn't it? matter. So it doesn't matter. Wait, why did we tinker now? Okay, no, never mind. The tinker was for my... Your harm, the... which affects your effect, which doesn't matter for the setup. Well, it was to start... Because if you don't do it now, we'd have to do a flashback, yeah. is the thing. If, That's correct. If we don't... Yeah, we if if we didn't do it before the first real roll, then I'd have to flash back. And who wants to spend the stress on that? That's fair. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, do this. I got my bonus die for a distraction. Is I get a five. Okay, cool. So, um, and I start going off about like they were used. We need to we need to take down the. Military system. wing of the university who is bringing scientists to do these horrible things. Like yes, whatever. I think word of this is going to get back to your parents, who are going to start <laughs> investigating things, and your free semester is now oh, over. Oh, it's gone. It doesn't matter. The time's up because they they, they heard it. <laughs> they heard about it. Oh God, yep, yeah, that's everybody it. saw him taking <laughs> drugs in Char Hollow. Yeah, and <laughs> giving speeches so about the university. Isn't that? He's turning. Is, no, so I get expelled from the university. That's what. Oh, I they like get a that. Because I channel the rage at the university. Yeah. And they get a, and the university catches wind <laughs> of this, and they send a letter to my parents saying I'm expelled. Yeah. Moral turpitude, expulsion. You, you were a known associate of bad things. Perfect. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I will <laughs> look at the crowd as they're getting like riled up. And I'll look at Adric, I'll go, you know, we should probably sneak him in because yelling at them would just probably make them more pissed off. So let's tiptoe through the tulips over here. Like, don't mind me, pay attention to the man standing on the box. Yeah, yeah pay, please pay attention to the man on the soapbox. Don't pay attention to the man, other man. 
Do we know another way in? I don't think uh, by default, without a flashback, you guys would know because you guys have only visited here once or twice. Um, wait, this is this is Hutton's place where my obligation is. I've been is here it, all. The okay, time. it is here specifically. I didn't know if it was at his house that you were at. Okay, I think it, I I just always yeah. mention just as vague call under stuff. Then so yes. is there another way? And you know, looking grind. Uh, I. If there is, he says yes. <laughs> <laughs> of course there is. Um, how do you think he got out of here? Hutton probably has one secret exit that you know about, Grine, and you're probably supposing at least another more, at least one more, that you don't know about. I think it's like... When he did redid the siding on his house, he just put like a side. He just put the siding over a side door and like carefully cut it so it swings open. Yeah, it's so like yeah, his his home office, side. and it, it's it's a pretty you know, large place. Like you can see it pretty easily if you investigate, but if you're walking by, you'll never notice it because it just looks like part of the wall. Exactly. But it works from the inside, so you just know if like if there's a handle in here. If you just stick your hand in this little hole, it'll work. Yep. So it's just a part We're of the wall. We're coming here for a public meeting. We're looking to convince these people. We want them to know whatever decision we come to in there so that they should know that we're inside and we haven't just snuck past. I say we go. We'll be as nice as we can. I'm just saying there's Very more... puzzled look toward Edric. Just the most puzzled look. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys taught me how to consort. <laughs> True. That <laughs> seminar is paying inside. off. And the crowd riots were going to be good inside, but if they riot before we get in there, there's no use of us being outside. If we could sneak in and then say, hey, we got in to talk to these people. It just looks covert. It doesn't help what we're trying to do at all. If they riot when we're outside, we'll deal with that then. Brian just like okay. pulls at I don't bonds, think you guys have Adric enough time like... to discuss this. What do you guys do? <laughs> Any further, that is. I mean, I, I, I have no say here. I am bound and whatever. Are you gagged? So it's up to you too. I'm good to go for it. You're just gonna command anyone just out like, of your way. Go straight in. Yeah. Look, yeah. give right. them a fierce look if they try to get I'll in your way. I'll. Well, should help we or group or or help? Because I have one in command now. Yeah, it, even if you fail, that's only one stress. So that's still better no. than. Teamwork, uh, I think, is, for that teamwork. yeah, better. Yeah, for that and we have that teamwork, teamwork crit. We just gotta, and make, teamwork we gotta crit. make the most use of the teamwork crit ability. And the oh. remember, the setup grants everyone who is helping a uh, anyone that makes they can the role. each use it. Anyone who makes the role, um, grind. If you want to, you can command people to get out of your way. <laughs> okay, just First that I all, check zero pips. Secondly. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Secondly, the position and, that's somehow worse than desperate. Hmm. And I'll lead this. Lead this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So can we choose? Do we both have to choose to use the same thing? From you don't the have to use it for this. Or... Well, the whole thing ultimately would have the same effect and right. position anyway. So if you don't choose the same, it is weird. So I'd say yes. Right in now this we're case. desperate. What is our effect at the moment? Standard. It is possible to. Um, oh, uh, actually, I'd say limited without the distraction and the setup without taking advantage of that. It'll be limited. So, so, the, so one person gets, what is, what, how this will be, some person? of them will come in with you. It won't just be you guys there and won't just be you and the leaders. Some of the mob people will follow you in. So let's use the setup to boost effect to standard. And, and it'll just be you in the, so it'll just one. be you. Anyway. Well, I'm good with the desperate, but honestly, if people from the mob follow us in, again, that's the whole point. We well, want no, yeah, everyone to be convinced. It's another really, party that we're worried but, about. But standard would be people come in. Limited would be mob people come in. Mob people have the clock. Mob people have a riot clock. So, the, the, the way, yeah. The li okay, way it works is limited effect is difference. when the crowd riots, if the crowd riots, they riot in uh, inside and outside the building if it's limited okay. effect. Yeah. So bump it to sp standard to prevent that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes, then. So it's if not going to be an empty building. If I'm not participating in the role, can I help? Yes, absolutely. How? Okay. So. Um, 
be as non-threatening as possible. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Well, yeah, I was gonna say, like, looking as cowed as I can, right? Like, Punch yourself in the eye first, so you look like you got beat up. No, I, I actually have a look at Adric and be like, "Hit me, hit me right now!" And pull Devil's the punch. Devil's bargain. Pull the punch yeah, <laughs> level one harm for Grind. Like, if Grind idea. accepts, sure. if Grind accepts level one harm as a Devil's bargain, then uh, Adric can get plus one to their die roll. Or, or Grind can spend one stress to help with the. No, I mean in addition, this is both. Like oh, so it would be one two. stress to help, and then also as a devil's bargain for an extra stress because you guys aren't pushing yourself. Okay. So if Grind accepts would, it, it's up to him. He I'm, can take I'm level one not off. accepting that. I can't okay. have a limited effect awful. here. Okay. I thought stress yeah. was. I thought help was one stress. Two help stress. is one stress. Pushing yourself oh, is two stress. No, help is one stress. No, help is, oh, help okay. is one. So okay. is that one die to just one person in the group role? I mean, one die to Adric. Yeah. Is yeah, because Adric okay. is the one punching him. If but okay, he declined. So, so no, he's, he's but you still have one die from the help. Yes, the regular. You, you pull yeah. the punch. You do the pull the punch. Actually, break his nose. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so Again. Desperate. I don't need all of your family <laughs> fucking up my face. <laughs> <laughs> There's still three left. They're over at Scovland, but if you want, we can get them over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah your face is still recovering from the last punch. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll roll first because I'm only rolling two dice, and then. Wait, does that include your Daredevil? That's, side? That's including my uh, Daredevil. Mm -hmm. Okay. Shouldn't it? Yeah, shouldn't you have? Oh no, because that's. Is the help only to one of us? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, got it. Boop. A six. That's Ooh. nice. One, Let's see if we can get another one. We won. Oh, we got a crit. Yeah, crit. Okay. Dude. Good. So I think. In this case, you guys go in there and it's just the three people you're supposed to meet with. Like two guards or like they aren't they don't are dressed like guards, but two, two people who are acting as guards and it's no one else. It's we it want, is we want non we we want get out of the way and they out. actually just part. Yeah, I think you guys look at them and, and between the cold like primal fear that they get when they look at Adric. And the reputation of the phoenix. They step out of the way. Does, does that hit possibly satiate some of the bloodlust of the of the crowd? Did we get a tick down? Yeah. <laughs> hey, with a crit. crit. Yeah, with a crit. <laughs> with a crit. I was going to have it just be you guys inside and nothing else. Instead of that, I'm open to just... The crowd is... is some, some other people are in there, but the crowd is less anxious. You pick. With other people in there, that's not, you know, other people necessarily ready to riot. They won't join in the riot if the crowd riots, but there will be, like, it's it's not the room where it happened. It's not just, you go in, they go in, oh, you talk, it's all... I like the that room actually where it happened. That's a good call. Okay. I like, I like just the leaders, because then we can, like, spill some beans, and then they can convince the crowd. It's, yeah, it's just right? the leaders, and they're two, like, very loyal guards. Because, um, and listen, no one else in the is in there. That I'm going to use. If it's it no longer a public meeting now. or have, has right, any well, access to the public. Say you've got something. I'll go with that. Okay. So, yeah, you guys go in. It's uh, Hicks. I think no, you're still outside with the crowd right now. I get there later. I'll, I'll okay. come in well, in, a, in a couple minutes. But we'll yeah, when good. they walk in, I don't come in with them. I wait for the crowd to. I get them going and chanting, and then I go and. and we, we tell the bodyguards <laughs> to go get our lawyer outside, and then we can start. <laughs> I'm still going when they're inside. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Okay. Both the non talkers are inside. Yep. <laughs> yep. Oh, good. Ooh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. The other out. option was tear gas them, so I, I was running out of solutions. So, what was that the scene? Is there, like, all the other scientists there? Is it just Stasia? Like, how many people do they have? So, right now, the only thing you see as you, you enter the building, um, and there are, there, there's, like, a long desk what was once hutton's desk, but it was like a very large desk um, oh yeah he had this desk he got he brought over on a boat from exactly Scotland. yeah like so, this is my desk no one touches my desk i shipped it from Scotland. yes Don't touch my desk. there are three people sitting at this desk and it's large enough where it's not it's it is barely comfortable for them to all three of them sit at um there is um 
you would n- recognize Grind, especially the f- one um, who is Cersei, who's Hutton's second in command, actually, is there. Um, Cersei is uh, actually uh, was crippled in the war, um, and they have a... Uh, okay. I guess not quite a temper problem, but kind of a pride problem. They weren't, they were a less extreme version of Wolf Ironborn in that way. Um, they still had that, but instead of immediately punching people, they would, you know, just yell at them if they were angry. And then punch like that. Um, have someone else punch them. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you know, you, you might vaguely know the other, there's a, an older woman, she looks like she's in her 60s. Um, she looks, um, like someone who doesn't have a lot of smile wrinkles for her age. More frown wrinkles. She would, I think she would, uh... Or is this, like, She looks very stern. Or is this dust wall plastic surgery? Where she's just having No, this is not, she just doesn't, she doesn't, she looks, I like how she has a vaguely hawk-like face. Um, and then the third person who is... Probably in his late twenties, um, like a uh, pretty standard, like like grown out beard. He's leaned back a bit. Um, he's the only one who's actually sipping a small bit of like whiskey. He still looks like he's there. Uh, he just looks more relaxed than the others, but not in a lazy way. Can we do a survey to see where the prisoners might? be or if there's anywhere like, yeah. like ah yes they're stashed in that room nearby now they were ex- i assume they were expecting it like this wasn't a sudden thing so there's chairs out for all of you uh, or sorry there's four chairs out or there's three chairs out for the three of you there's not a chair for grind and they're like there's a space between the chairs <laughs> there's a space we're too, between two of, yeah like, he's not meant to like chairs, kneel it's not that bad he's, he's, he's meant to just yeah. stand there um <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna the ask, other prisoners are uh, not here, but on you could totally survey. I okay. am still interested in knowing where those people are at. Okay, uh, and I while you're doing ask. that, yeah. If you want to just ask, that works fine. Yeah, like just like not roughly, but like showy. Like I will like put grind in like the spot where he's like supposed to yep. be, and I'll go. Where are the others? I think the woman, the older woman, says, That is not your concern. We do not know yet if we can even trust the Union anymore. Well, we brought grind to you, didn't we? Yes. Yes, you did. That is good. But we have many things to discuss. Uh, I think she, she, they, none of them really, I think, actually, the man, the, the more relaxed man looks at Grein curiously. Uh, Grein, you've definitely never seen him before. Um, but the other two are kind of, like, specifically avoiding his gaze. And the woman says, put him here. And she, like, gestures to the center of the room. Could, and then sits down. we have one of your men go get our other friend? He seems to have been caught up. If your people can't make it, that is your problem. Can we get some introductions here? I'd I'm... like to know who we're speaking with. I'm. I think, Gr- I think Grin will just like nod at Cersei because I'm. I'm sure we've at least talked a little bit. She, if she's crippled, I'm sure there's been some some medical services offered. Yeah, I think um, Cersei. I haven't decided the nature of her her thing yet. It might be... I think it's interesting if she's in a wheelchair. Yeah. Um. Get her some robo-legs. <laughs> yeah, put some ghosts in the legs. <laughs> <laughs> we, put, we put Ulf Ironborn in one leg and then Hutton in the other. <laughs> yeah, Cersei's not meeting your gaze either, Brian. Uh, I am um, familiar with Cersei. Uh, Don't speak, under better circumstances. Ryan, for your own good. This isn't Cersei speaking, this is the older woman. Um, 
my name is Frey. Cersei introduces herself. I, like, I'm Cersei. And the man says, like, raises his glass. I'm Stal. So, uh, heard a lot about you all. There's a few sorts union. Nice to meet you. Mm. You don't know who I am. At some, at some point you hear chanting from outside as the door opens. <laughs> See about that. I don't know if getting away through, from the crowd is just going to be that easy. I could smoke bomb my way out. You can if you'd like to, but I don't think they'll be like, hey, where are you going? Kind of stuff if, if you just start going. Just smoke um, bomb. So if you want them to not follow you in... Sway? You could sway. You could actually smoke bomb. I wanted to actually smoke bomb my way out of the crowd, though. Okay, is oh, this David a... David Copperfield, you're Yeah, I was going to say... Like, <laughs> cause harm to people for being in it? Yeah. Not anything long-term. It's just they want to get out no. of it because they're ice water. It's not a comfortable place to be. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm just like... Smoke bomb. Like, I'll put half a smoke bomb. It's going to use a full bandolier slot, but I can, like, half a smoke bomb. Just David Copperfield my way out of this situation. Just, nope. Just going. Okay. This sounds like you're wrecking. Yes, I'm wrecking the, the chant. All right. Perfect. <laughs> smoke bomb. To give him enough time, I'll go, I'd like to delay until our friend gets inside. He's Twice. dealing with the crowd. It's a bit like a Bilbo Baggins thing where you just, like, say goodbye to everyone and then just smoke bomb and you're gone. Yeah, basically. Uh, is this risky? Uh, risky? no! This is still gonna be desperate if it goes wrong. Fine, desperate. Uh, this is still a distraction, though. This is still a distraction. That's correct. Yes. You get the bonuses for that. The effect is standard. I would like to spend the stress to help him with my bird. Are you just like... As the smoke bomb goes down, the bird flies up. <laughs> <laughs> Seated. Okay, that's great. Yeah, because I don't think you've been quite leading the crowd. It's more like you've had to... The crowd has been, been accusing at you. Yeah, it's just been an argument between you and the crowd. So, yeah. okay. It's definitely desperate. It's like a two-bonus die. I hope you fa you don't <laughs> fail, because this is going to be way worse than you getting oh, beat no. up around the corner. Four. Okay! Four. 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 <laughs> Holy dice! So many dice! Oh god, do I just take injury as I... I think that's smoke? what happens, yeah. I just inhaling a bunch of smoke. So the smoke, and then instead of just running away, some of them will blindly, with their eyes literally closed, charge you. Uh, and you have to, like, jump over their heads and work your way through it. Um, and I think... He's tear gassing us! <laughs> <laughs> yes. You get inside, but the crowd is rioting. Right, and so you what's, take, the, what's the penalty so I know what I can resist? You take level one harm, and oh, no. two ticks go on the clock so the crowd is rioting. You gotta, res you gotta resist the riot. Alright, um, I'm gonna arbor as a ma as Hicks reaches in his coat pocket and pulls out a gas mask. Nice. <laughs> it's my arbor against tear gassing, because I carry tear gas. Yeah. Okay, I use my arbor. <laughs> Fair enough. That, to ignore the Wait, so this is bomb. tear gas, not just a smoke bomb. No, smoke bombs by definition are tear gas in this game. Oh, it's fun. It's smoke that's difficult to breathe and stings the eyes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's tear gas. I tear gas my way out of the crowd. <laughs> okay. It makes it a little bit more dangerous. Uh, so I use armor for that. That's my entire load, by the way. Okay. Between, oh, no. the, between the bandolier and the two ticks for arbor, that's it. Okay. Okay. I got two well, more bandolier slots and a couple free items. Well, you're okay. for talking. We can we can do this. You, I got you the also have rigging. Don't I also have rigging. Can't. That's true. But that uses all of my standard load. Okay. Is yeah. the point I'm making. Um, yeah, you're talking. Are you fine. resisting yeah. the riots? <laughs> yeah, and then I'm gonna resist the riot. <laughs> okay. Um, this is a social consequence. This is this is very much like. Yeah. So is this a resolve? I think this is. is I'll check resolve again. Resolve. Uh, is mental strain or willpower. So this would be insight. Yeah. It's the same rule either way. It's still two to six. Okay. No bonus dice. 
Here we go. I roll for it down. Oh, that's a lot of stress. Four stress. Take four stress. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm back. It. I'm all stressed out again. <laughs> You're not trauma so though. Crowds ain't no... trauma out there. Oh. Crowd okay. and rioting crowds ain't no joke, man. Like no, it's stressful. Not. <laughs> no, yeah. Oh, that's a bad time. Okay, I used it. All right. That's so, <laughs> yeah, I think they they get more agitated, but I think they see you go in there and like, okay, that's where he's going. Someone like notices and like, okay. I don't think they they They're... see me go and they put the pieces together. But yeah. I don't think they physically okay. see me walk in the building because I was David. I did still succeed. To that's true. Field with tear gas. Now they're waiting there. Someone else steps on the box, and they're just gonna keep revving themselves up while they wait to see what happens they'll they'll be ready they're, they're here to kill someone on an angry so like right so six the, is from here on out so the crowd <laughs> finds the scientists innocent does that include the people inside or no that yeah, includes all of the scientists that is just the crowd yeah, that is just, just the, the crowd. Yes, that's just... like later. If we convince the people inside, they can help us with convincing the crowd. That's yeah. that is possible. Yes. So Hicks, you get back. You get inside. You get inside, um, coughing. I'll throw the tear. Like I throw the gas mask aside. Like all right. <laughs> yeah, and I think no one makes a remark, but I think as everyone, especially the older woman, just gives you like a look of. Minor contempt, Hicks, for every like they they kind of are associating you with the right the riot outside, and how badly it's going. I, provocateur, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, Adric, you wanted to look around, or if they're not telling us where these people are, yeah, I'm interested in a survey role to be able to figure out where they're at. Okay, because our intention is to get them and leave, or at least one if of them. If you wanted to group at, if you wanted to teamwork action, yeah, I'd survey be interested role, in that. I would participate with my two survey dice. Yeah. I can I'll, at that point. I'll also participate. Just like look around. I mean, yeah, sure. I, Ryan, Narratively, okay. I don't know that I can tell you anything if I see anything. Yeah, so but, you but tell me. Hicks participating <laughs> I think you would be. Tell. Yeah, Hicks participating would be super easy because it's from the walk from the door to the meeting without the massive guards that you would have had with Grind. He's yeah. doing a once over as he walks in. Yeah. And then when he gets up to you, he can whisper in Adric's ear, like, hey, I heard some scuffling around in this room out the hallway or whatever. Yep. Yeah. I think, I think still all... most of you guys are just looking around from where you're sitting. So I think this will be limited effect. Um, Even with Hicks walking and doing the survey, like on the walk. I are you going around and inspecting the place, or are you just going straight line? It's a slow walk down the hallway. More accurately, are we desperate or risky? Because then we can push the effect if we need. You are. I think it's downgraded to risky. The desperate's still sitting outside right now, but you're yeah. You, desperate is outside, but you're we risky. We can push it to desperate if we want. Um, I really wouldn't. And this would mean, I think, limited is you don't know for sure exactly, but you might have a general idea of the area if or, or like, vague information on where they might are be Are they held. here? Are they not? Exactly. So we have to be aware? Yeah, or what floor if they are here or things like that. Yeah. Okay. We That's don't know the exact room, but... Exactly. Okay. Okay, so, so limited. Risky, limited, and it's a group action. I can stress if... Going that lead that works okay survey yep. okay risky limited do this i got a three nope I got a five five. A five that's okay a success. so that's three stress and okay. Woo. okay so much stress oh god so as you are walking from the main door there are still some guards um and you spy yeah. you, you spy one as you're walking by i think it's just like a flick of your eyes there's one that's standing and sort of in the hallway there's a door to the left door to the right but behind them there's like a trap door as well and it looks like it has been uh it, it is slightly ajar like it wasn't fully closed all the way um that catches your eye to the basement yeah so I, I, you know, just cold face walk in the room and like I lean down when I get in and whisper to Adric, like, hey, open trap door in the hallway. Because <laughs> it's easier Not. to just say, yeah, because Adric was leading yes. the group action. So. Thank you for finally joining us, Hicks. Are we ready to get started? He just nods and yeah. 
Yeah, and it's it's the usually the they're I think deferring to the older woman who has identified herself as Frey. Um she says We are here to discuss the guilt of Brian Hells and the degree to which the Fuse Lights Fuse Rights Union is an accomplice in this. This is not something you were aware of. This is not what you set up the meeting for. She just says it here like we're here to discuss Grind's guilt and all of yours. <laughs> I I think Zade will literally laugh at that. Is something funny, Mr. Phoenix? How could we be culpable in what he has done? You worked with him. You don't seem surprised at what he did. It came out weeks ago, or actually, it came out many days ago, and you're only here now. We had to discuss things, and then we brought him to you. He was a union, part of this group. The union wasn't a thing until after that night. Don't just throw it around. I just figured out what your trump card is there, Dade. Exactly. Don't do it. <laughs> No, I mean, it. if it comes to it, you'll do it. Okay, now I'm so curious. I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you a little hint. Vampire Ooh. wife. I called him Zaid. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's a big <laughs> card to pull because no one else is in here. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Okay, Fair I enough. have set up two clocks. They're both empty. They're both six clocks. One. Grind is found innocent by the Skull leadership. Two, the Fuse Rice Union is found guilty alongside Grind. That's so. a bad clock. I don't like these clocks. They're both six clocks, so that's okay. Actually, yeah, I think that those are, they're actually directly opposed. So I think they're actually going to be two sides of the same clock. Um, and I'm going to make it longer. This will be an One eight clock. clock. One eight have... clock. And we're going to start it. Um, I think I'm going to start it at three. Uh, what do you mean? So if it goes all the way, if it goes, if it fills all the way, then you guys are found innocent by the people inside. If it empties to zero, you guys are found guilty. Oh, got it. Okay. It's yeah. Um, I'm gonna see if there's a way. Actually, I'd like to make this a ten o'clock if possible. Um, but I don't think that's a thing except in faction clocks. So I'll leave it as an eight. Let's just deal with it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Without making the score incredibly long. Yeah, and, I, and we only have half an hour left, and maybe we can finish the score by then. So, the Phoenix, you were saying something. Oh, uh, I was just saying that um, the Union didn't exist that night. We were all scattered to the winds. I didn't exist that night. I'm sure. Um, the man, Stal, speaks up, and uh, he says... I have to admit, this is all very suspicious about your entire union is built on explosives, which I assume Brian is the inventor of, and... Um, just a group uh, effort. <laughs> group effort. <laughs> and your... I think he, he like has one of your flyers that you've used before, probably for, like, the street party from a while back. He might have a menu, Ethics. too. <laughs> yeah. Ethics. And, and code. I... It's very easy for hypocrisy to bloom in an environment like yours. Watchful eye stops that. <laughs> Where is your accountability? You claim all of these things, but... You ask the you members remind that me are not leadership how me. they've been treated. You're free, to, you're free to call them for questioning if you wish, but it's their right to refuse. You ask the people we've helped. Go down two blocks on the left. Ask Melvier what we've done for her. Our 
our accountability is with the people because our power lies within the people. The girl has spoken highly of you. But she is just one person who I believe you, or she wouldn't actually know about the Phoenix having a new relationship. Um, just who I believe we've seen several of you visit. How much do you pay her? How much the does the word of a good scarf cost rate these days? For, you know, doctor care? Normal, normal rates. Because she is, of course, a medical professional who deserves to be paid for her labor. <laughs> you get, like, they all, the three of them look at each other for a second, and you get the impression that while they're not sure about you guys, they are not, like, I think you're, you get the impression you're going to have to, like, push them instead of just respond to what they say in, in, in a, like, this is why um, situation. Mm -hmm. And they're, I think, about to, to say something, but you can step in. There's a pause. Unless you want to wait to hear what they say. Hold my hand up and see if I can speak yet. They notice. They look at each other again. Not sure. And then I think, um... Cersei shrugs. Stal shakes his head. Ray purses her lips. And says, Speak, accused. The accountability of my associates is contingent on my own guilt. I will say, I will state for the record that yes, I was involved in the creation of this horrible substance that has affected all of us greatly. They share a glance when you say that part. And I look directly at Cersei and say, but you know that I have suffered from its use. My own wife was killed. That doesn't make it not a crime. I am not saying that the creation of this was not an abomination. However, its use was, as far as we were concerned, never to be domestic. We were scientists. We were given a task. What did you, you expect, says Stan, when you created something like that? So it wouldn't be domestic. But the war was happening at the time. You thought, what, it would just be used on our land over in Scovland? You thought, what, you, it, it's fine as long as it's used on other people? That doesn't affect you? There are, there are no clean hands in war. The Skullblenders and the uh, Imperials both have done terrible things to each other. Looking, looking at all of them, I, I'm assuming Frey was probably involved in the Unity War. Can you say your hands are clean? Did you do not do terrible things to living people. Uh, I'm go about to ask for a roll, but Indigo, you wanted to say something? Yeah, I understand that. Grind's about to roll. I'm not sure if this would be like help or what, but I have a follow-up pitch. Okay. <laughs> help. To the... let's, let's assume it's help and we'll see how it goes. Help, help makes the most sense, actually. For one stress... <laughs> Meaning I have one stress left before I trauma out. <laughs> Wait, so this is this will trauma you out? No, no, no. One left after this. Okay, because oh, okay. when you hit full, you trauma out. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, this will okay. be the last stress if we really need the help. If not, I can make I can my help. own roll separately. So I don't know what the I, better option would be. I, I, if we help. all start talking, we can group roll. That's a good point. <laughs> 
That is also a good point. <laughs> I can help um, what are we intending to roll with? Yeah. Way? Let's see what you say. Hicks, what do you say first? Okay, Hicks's whole pitch is going to be be a, a metaphorical argument that Grind is as guilty as the man who invented the rifle. He is, in, he is as guilty as anyone who assembles bullets. He's as guilty as anyone who paints tanks. That yes, he is culpable, but he is not guilty of, like, the crime of genocide. Even he is culpable in the effect that he has admitted to such fact. Okay. To sp- basically, to spread the guilt to anyone who has ever made money off of the Unity War. That he shares as much guilt as anyone who sold military rations, as much guilt as anyone who stitched uniforms. So, you know, your family. Which, yeah, which is everyone around. Which is like, yeah, yeah most people in the city at one point. Which is another. most people. So if they're going to do that to him, he, they've got to burn the whole city down if that's what they want. Okay, I'll get back to that. That almost feels significant enough that it could be its own separate role. That's why I yeah. wasn't sure. I, I was going to piggyback off of that, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then let's start with Grind's role, and then let's move on to Hicks's and, and people piggybacking yeah. off of Hicks's point. Um, so, Grine, um, I think you are swaying. I, you're, you're changing. You're, this whole thing is about changing their minds. Um, by default, they're assuming Grine is guilty, and they're deciding if the Fuse Rates Union is. Shitty justice system, or whatever. <laughs> it's not. It's very much community based. It's street justice, kind street of. Street justice. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Um, your position here, Grine specifically, will be, I think, the desperate's back for Grine um, and his, his speaking one. And I think you, though, could have standard effect, honestly. All right. This is I'm bad. Dexter. I have one actually i'm gonna go I... risky limited but if you want to you can go desperate standard i'll let you pick in that case because it, it, it's they your presumed guilt or, or or your guilt is either reducing your effect to limited or your um position from risky to desperate and you pick failure on the desperate what is the how many ticks get put in um I'm not we'll actually planning. Uh, there will be some, but I'm not planning to take it down to zero if you fail in a desperate. I'm planning to do other stuff. I'm willing to help you. I have three stress boxes unfilled. Okay. Um. Would you like my help? Yeah, and I'm going to push okay. myself. Okay, and are you being desperate from your or eyes. limited? Yes, that's so, the situation. I'm helping by um, highlighting the fact that... How do I help here? I have an idea if you need one. What's your idea? Highlighting the work that specifically Grind has done since then with the refugees yeah. and to help them like saying that he's always known that he is somewhat to blame for this cause but he's done everything in his power to make sure he made up for that okay he added water to the streets of crow's foot he went through and did some other shit in char hollow that i don't remember exactly <laughs> yeah that's fair um Okay, so you're He's helping. He's attempted to atone. So it's risky standard or risky limited? It's risky yeah. limited, or you can down it to desperate for an extra effect for upping it to standard. Do it. I'm pushing myself. I can't. I might resist and trauma out again. <laughs> That's probably not great. Um... I'm going to keep it risky limited. I mean, okay. with two bonus dice from pushing myself. 
I'm actually shaking. Fuck. All right. All right. Six. Six. <laughs> you did it. Okay. Oh, so many bad rolls. Okay. Oh, so, many bad rolls. so you get one tick on the clock towards innocence. And I think um, Frey says, thank you, Grind. That is enough. We will ask your opinion from now on. And she says this in tone like she does appreciate what you've said. She is taking it into account. More of a, not even that you broke it, but it's like, please, we're, we want to stay polite. And in this, it's polite for you specifically not to speak unless spoken to or asked. Um, she says that. and But yeah, there's no negative consequence for it. They don't think less of you. You didn't actually break that question, that, that request. And, yeah. Um, Hicks, you wanted to jump in yeah. and so Hicks make your case. So Hicks begins a lecture about <laughs> the culpability of anyone who participates in a war in an attempt to distract them in a way that, like, dilutes the guilt. It spreads the problem across anyone who did anything. Hicks is free and clear in this regard because he was just like sitting at home, like as a kid. Like so, he's he has the moral high ground in this situation with people that were in the war and were profiting off of it, or have family that like painted tanks or like cleaned boats or whatever. He has a little bit of a moral high ground that he's going to try to take advantage of because he was a literal child when the Unity War was going on. That long ago, it was only two years. It was really only two uh, years? Two years when it, two years ended. When it ended, years but it ago. went on for like 20 yeah, or 30 years, years. Two years when it ended, but by the time Hicks lived by himself and was a full adult, the war was was over. Because he's like, was an undergrad at college, and not yeah. like, I got to so, so, yeah, just barely scraping by. But like, when he jumped the line to living by himself, the war was over. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The Unity War started in 8.09. It ended at 8.45. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So it was going on it when he was a kid. It lasted, like, at least two generations. Yeah, it was going on when he was a kid, but there was nothing he could do about it. So. It was just, the, that true. was the status quo. This kid did. Anyhow. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, that's not the point. The point is he has the high ground from the people that did participate and have that. He's going to try to, like, take advantage of that. that yeah basically call them out on the fact that they should they shouldn't blame the people that were stuck in this two generations long war for doing what was happening they should stuck to, they should focus their rage and energy on the people that perpetrated these atrocities that basically if, if not the inherent threat of physical violence the a, the the like veiled threat of well you're not gonna have a job anymore if you don't work on yeah. these projects. The emp- you're you're not the first one with the empire under with empire's boot on you. The citizens of Duskwall have had their boot We're first. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're yeah, all yeah. equally uh, uh, subjugated under it. Yeah, I, and the, the rage should be focused upwards. I am diffusing the blame. I am obfuscating for a different social combat system. <laughs> I'm obfuscating their point to be everyone. This is the closest to a duel of wits we've had. Um, for sure. So what 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 type of action are you doing? I'm, I'm hoping for sway here. Okay, sway makes sense. Yeah. Um, um, if you can take... No, wait, you're two away from stressing out, right? So if I, like... If we did a group roll, that would not be good. Nope. Not no, if... No, no, no. Remember, the person... It doesn't have to necessarily be the same person leading it. That would be hard I'm to justify. Also, I'm also too stressed away. So, <laughs> oh, okay. So yeah, no. I think we're, we're not in a good position here. No, we're not. We're not <laughs> in a good position. <laughs> Sorry, guys. My points are for when things go badly. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Adric is the oh, backup. Yeah. Yeah, this is risky, right? This is risky for you. Yes. Um, yes. And this will be standard. I think you have a decent point. Um, standard effect. Now, do I, I get my bonus distraction die because I am moving the direction of their rage and not destroying it? I don't think you're distracting them from the situation. You're addressing it and diluting it, but you're not distracting them. It's still the same subject. Yeah, whatever. I'm trying to get my bonus die. <laughs> I know. Um, 
Uh, as a possible devil's bargain, um, I could mark a tick on the Spirit Warden's attack because word is getting around. The Fuse Rights Union is currently having a meeting with the Scovland refugees. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay. Is this just going to be a constant clock on all of our future things? Until possibly. Yeah. Quite possibly. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's not a red clock, though, right? It's not just no, gonna it is not going. a red clock. Okay, just making sure. So just whatever job we're on, if that fills. <laughs> There's one! <laughs> it mattered! You... It mattered! It really, it so really much. mattered. <laughs> so for the Spirit Warden's attack clock, it's just whatever job we're on, if that fills, it's like... Whatever it fills, even if you're in free play, they're gonna attack you guys as a thing. If yeah, it's just and suddenly okay. it's it's the and suddenly ninjas attack kind of thing. Really the spirit robots. wardens. Yeah. Uh, well, I love to put a six there, shouldn't it be two? Because right. we just got a standard roll. The long term project mm -hmm. version. Yep. Sorry. Oh. Yeah, I mean that's fine. Two is that's fine too. Two is, two is still good. good. It's there's good. No, it's good. There's no it's negative from it. Yes, there's no negatives at all from this. They, they, I think, I think, um, Frey says, what was your name again? I, oh, I just, I tell him, like, like six keels. <laughs> like, that's my name. Like, you're a smart boy. I know, I know fictionally I've already been expelled from the university. So, fuck yeah. it at this point. <laughs> <laughs> you're a smart boy. That's all she's like. She, that's that's what she says, basically. Yeah. She appreciates what you're saying. They're all considering it all. Um, but then I think Stal. He like gets out of his chair and is more talking to everyone in the in the instances. They've made good points, but I can't. You know how our people are feeling right now. We know how much justice they deserve. How is it our right to tell them how they should and shouldn't be feeling in this regard? Like it, it. They're the ones. I am one of the few fortunate enough that I have not suffered personal tragedy from the night of the long farewell. But those who have, they deserve some kind of justice, some And then he stops and he looks around and he's and he's like I think all I, I don't think he says anything. But suddenly all of you can see the breath, uh, like, appear and suddenly become visible as it gets very cold. Do it all. Yep. <laughs> and a, uh... I would like to... They also, to yeah, they all start looking around for, like, what is this This happening? I got what? it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so what, your um, what, what is your... What are you trying to do while attuning? Whatever ghost that is coming, I want to repel them long enough for this conversation to finish. <laughs> okay. The whole Perfect. Ultimate bay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think this is gonna be desperate. If this yeah, this is so for some reason this particular ghost has is vengeful. Is not only vengeful, but everything that they want is to do this right now. This is this is their sole purpose. They would literally is there a whole clock I should be aware of. Sorry? No, it's just Ulf. It's just... It, yeah, it's, Ulf is still haunting us. Ulf is still haunting you, and he's, of course he's going to show up and see, like, it was them! Actually, he'll say it was uh, Grind, specifically. So, desperate. What's the effect? The effect uh, for repelling this ghost by default is going to be limited. You will repel... Okay. I think they'll just get, like, a sentence in. An ominous sentence in and nothing else. Even with the uh, spirit bane charm, I have yeah. my spirit bane charm. I also that is my bird mm -hmm. is outside, so he could tell me when he's coming. And if he's like, if he's coming up from the floor, like, where is he coming from? 
Like, if my bird could just get to him. Well, he's coming from the ghost plane or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but your bird can track ghosts, right? So track I think. Track and hunt them with yeah. potency. What? Here, I'll, I'll ping it. Yeah. There we go. Tracking um, or fighting the supernatural. So I think that'll help as well. Um, so I think your spirit bane charm will down it to risky. That'll like it, it it's it'll reduce the it'll it'll help your position. Risk. And I think your bird yeah. will upgrade to standard effect. Risky standard. Okay. So the ballsy move is desperate great for the extra die. <laughs> what what would desperate great mean? He just doesn't come into the conversation at all? Like, no, I done? think desperate great um Risky st standard is he doesn't get to go into the conversation at all, but they know there's a ghost. Um, desperate great would be your bird has to repel him by himself before the ghost even gets close. And after like a few seconds of you just seeing one person's breath, it fades. And no one like, oh, okay, maybe it was a ghost, but maybe it was just the wind and they just continue on. And it, no one even really notices after a few seconds. That's the great, great is not even a ripple i'll think because oh, i get the extra die if you but... get the die is the thing <laughs> but yeah desperate means something could happen to your bird I get, I get the die and xp <laughs> it's... Yeah, it's so many bonus points just do it yeah i'm doing it because the bird logically the bird would be like oh shit that's off let me go get him before he fucks everything yeah. up right like the yeah. bird would just let me know yep so desperate okay Great. I and get one bonus die. Yes. Any bargains? Yeah, let me fix this. All takes a part of your soul. Just no. Like... We've done that. It wasn't fun. <laughs> no. Um. I mean, that won't work. I think. I, I can think of one. Yes. Go oh, confronts the phoenix when he's alone next time it's feasible Ooh. like it's just gonna happen yeah i want it i want the one-on-one -on -one. <laughs> that's not bad but i think that ulf everyone knows who the phoenix is is actually my idea the way it would work ulf's because you have a mental link with your bird ulf somehow taps into that when the, your bird is driving him off and he learns your name and like then starts no. telling everyone um the one-on-one -on -one confrontation that sounds I like, like the one-on-one one -on -one one-on-one is fun i think the thing with this one is because it's such a important role you're prepared for that one but what if okay tweak it a little bit ulf comes at him okay when he's at his lowest so yeah the next okay time i think i'll do it harm and oh you know i don't think it's a one-on-one -on -one. <laughs> it's you're alone Ulf not isn't necessarily alone. Yeah, he's gonna get me when I'm by myself, right? Yeah, like, and he's not gonna play yeah. fair. He's it's, he's not gonna. He might bring friends. That's fine. I will I will take that one for sure. Okay, so I'll, let me write that one. As that's a response. that's a big devil bargain. Yes, yes. but this is a big right. roll. Hey, put this a, a big put roll. A mark, put a mark on your soul for. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. listen. I'm probably telling them who I am anyway. Based on that whole conversation that just happened before it was interrupted, that guy's like, well, you know, like, who are we to say? Like, they need justice. I'm like, if I was there, I get justice by forgiving him or some shit like that. Yeah, this is, this is, I am yeah. one of the one, I am the only am, one of the I dead. I am the only affected party. Yeah. <laughs> that is a lie. I died. Um, I have, I am first rights to forgive. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, let's do it. Six. Oh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so, so many, many ones. ones. So many ones. But you got a six. So I think you drive Ulf off, and I think after a moment, I I think the, the guy who was oh. making his speech kind of like forgot what he was gonna say, and it loses its power of, of what he was because of the ghost thing. But that's all it does. Um, mm. he, he's like, uh, he, he like he loses his train of thought. Um, 
awkwardly can't find it for a bit and then like just sits down um and Frey says okay I think we've heard all we need to the guilt of this tragedy does not belong to any individual except maybe the emperor himself curse his bones but it belongs with those that gave the order we will find them but and i were working on this she gets Very up good. and there are like there's like a nice several windows from this office so she like I don't think you can see it directly, but the camera shows and you know that she's looking down at the crowd where someone out they're like riding and like chanting and ready for blood. She's like, but our people, they hunger for justice and for blood. Blood that they believe they have the right to take. And they do. They do have the right. Make them be your flaming sword. Let them take their justice. With we the will help of, you with this. With the rest of the scientists, we can light the sword, <laughs> if you will. <laughs> Angry people do not take to complicated solutions. We need a name. We need a district. We need something specific. Something actionable. The wardens have gone too far. <laughs> Uh, what if they are enslaving the souls of the dead to power their war machines they have gone too far bless you the wardens <laughs> yeah, what do the here. wardens have to do with this well they took all the dead souls and put them in their war machines uh, Hicks lies to her face about. Yeah. Hicks lies to her that face is a about. Great lie. <laughs> of like how like Scoblander <laughs> souls from the long, light of the long farewell are used to power the hulls. Yes. That's probably not even that it, inaccurate. It, it might not be a lie. Yeah. It's plausible. <laughs> okay. It's plausible. It's definitely plausible. How can this be possible? I think they they look at you, Grind, because you're still the like leading scientist in the room. Uh, um, Edric here has, uh, come across some schematics. I have decoded. Edric, do you happen to have the schematics on you? Uh, we'll load for that, sure. Okay. Uh, we have discovered that the, the Wardens, uh, have these contraptions that they are binding souls to. It is how they roll out the big guns. Uh, these things are no joke. And, They're all uh, slaves to the machine. I uh, pointed at Rick's like and, and it is, or something. It is indeed within the realm of possibility that the souls of dead Scovlanders that were killed that during that horrible time have been bound in service to power their machines. Um okay. Let's have a sway roll. I could see this either being Grind or Hicks, honestly, because you uh Hicks Can brought we it do up. this? This could Almost, be a group action. I mean, I'll, like, I'll, I don't I'll, think that we actually want me in this, but I'd give help. We also could do a group action if you want to. I mean, if it's I, just the two of us rolling, I can lead a group. Okay. And then, Adric, yeah. you can help uh, grind, because that was the blueprint one. Yeah. Yeah, okay. cool. I'm hey, all I'm for playing. that. This is, I'm assuming, uh, risky? Um, yes. I think this is risky. And... Devil's bargains. We're involving the spirit wardens, and they're going to end up telling the crowd about the spirit wardens, so I think this might draw their ire. Per person, Hicks or Grine, each of you can accept one tick on the spirit wardens attack clock. But hey, I if this goes well, you're going to attack them first. Two. Sorry? I, I'd say I think we go one, not two. Okay. We need time. I'm not going to take it. Okay, so Grine, you take it alone then? And Hicks does I'll not. put it to the group because it's all of our asses if that clock gets filled. So do I take I'm it? I'm fine with one, and then I think grind because what's your sway at? Uh, it's one, but with two extra so, die. Yeah, 
I think we want to even out the dice as much as possible because if one of you just rolls a one, like with one die, yeah, then that'll add stress. Like you, you even out the playing field yeah. of like maybe not taking stress. All right, so yeah. risky, standard. Does having the documents on there help at all? Like I that guess. is your help, I think. Yeah. I th I think that is the help. Yeah, that's. That you were prepared with the documents. And stress and load. Sounds good. Okay. All right, here it goes. And then one tickle for me. Six, six, six from Hex. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yes. Gotta clutch the last die again. <laughs> and so. standard is innocence. Yes. And I think that we'll. Uh... Hmm. I'm going to mark two for... ticks. Let's leave it there for now. Um, I'm going to mark two ticks for that, and the crowd finds the scientists innocent. I think they are... What uh, she's going to say is, yes, that's a, a good idea. I will address the crowd. This meeting is adjourned for now. Mingle. Wait here. See what I can do. The job is still on, but it's uh, no longer like an official hearing or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Ray herself is going to go out to the crowd. Allow me to help. Let's see that next yeah. session. Next, next uh, I just wanted to set that up. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, we'll end the Holy session shit. here. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have done really well. It really has been nothing but sixes since the beginning. <sighs> since you Barely. said it. Barely. <laughs> Barely is like... true. But uh, I forgot to mark that. Still managed. Oh wait, no, that was that was risky. Yep. Oh, I was going back through my other roles. I forgot to mark. Uh... Okay. So, end of session. Who would like to go yeah. first? Uh, well, we usually start with a crew. So, let's do that. Yeah. Uh, All right. Yeah. Crew. News Rights Union. Um, well, first of all, extra XP trigger that we didn't. Is this attacking the government or nobility? Because we just no. aimed a bunch of angry refugees right at them. Nope, it's, it's, it's not an attack. It's more it's preparing for it. to attack them. It's very okay. explicitly yeah. not a straight up attack. Like it's a okay. very limited scope power. Um, acquire product supply, execute clandestine covert sales, or secure territory. No, nope, we're um, mopping up our own problems. Yep. Yeah. We contend, contend with, with challenges with above our current station. Two, we ended with two, Ulf, the ghost monster, and the Scovland refugees. Yep. <laughs> uh, bolster the crew's reputation of For the People. I yeah. Think so. <laughs> I would say so. Yeah. At uh, least one, but I don't know. I could. I, I think we've probably hit Driven as well. Like. Because yeah, you specifically. One, all right. I'd say one for the, one for the crew reputation. But two for the goals, drives, and inner conflicts are essential nature of the crew. Yeah, I think so. Um, between everything okay. else going on, you guys are also doing things like you're moving, you're 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 cleaning up your stuff, and that seems like it's becoming a uh, part of what you're about. Yeah. All right. So we are four away from the next advancement. Nice. Yep. Pretty pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Who wants to go individually? Uh, I mean, I I guess I'll. I'll roll yeah. it out. Um, adjust a challenge with technical skill or mayhem. Um, at least one there. I mean, it's at least one. At least yeah. one. Yeah. Uh, which one? I'm trying to think of the specific. moving. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. The moving. And if uh, and first aid counts, I'd say it does. First. It's it's still it. it it is specifically tinkering, and it's specifically, um, I think that's the closest thing to technical skill. It includes medical in this case. Okay. Uh, express your belief, drive, heritage, your background. I, I, I think two on yeah. this one. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, and struggled with issues from your vice or trauma. Um, <laughs> I think I mean, one. what's your vice? Not one? giving a shit about personal safety and being like, go ahead and stab me. I just want to get this over with. <laughs> yeah. And also, I'd say two, definitely because of your vice. Yeah, I'd well, say, I was going to say one for taking the trauma. True. Um, and one for it's fair. this whole thing is an issue that's related to your vice. Yeah. Yep. 
But you now also get the thing where if you don't address your vice in a session, you take Trump, you take stress. Yep. Is that per session? It's, it's per score. It's struggling. It's, it's, yeah, it's, like, it's what next downtime you'll have to do it. At the end of your downtime, yeah. if you didn't do it, then you take a stress. Okay, yeah. so I just have Which to relieve why... stress at, at every possible time. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Which is why having two traumas sucks so badly because then we are at now four. Now we take two you... stress. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's me. I think I have mine down pat. Um, address the challenge with tracking or violence. A dose because I fake tracked the Phoenix. And, That's true. And uh, your violence sister against Wolf Ghost. Oh, and your sister. Oh yeah, and the sister. Yeah, and Wolf Ghost. Um, Excellent. Believe strives heritage background. Yeah, I think that's a double between that between Costa and this. Yeah. Yeah. And then I think only one for trauma because of haunted. It's like I can't let these people die, right? Like my haunted trauma is I like the Brian scientists. Can't die. You mean I need the scientists? Yeah. I don't know we if I died. saw that specifically. Um, I could see you haunted again with your sister if you needed to, because uh, mm-hmm. that one was three at the time, and, and can't let her go either. I assume. Yeah. Um. So just five. Okay. I will put two in resolve and then upgrade that again. And then uh three in my playbook. Okay. Adric? Uh uh, I'm on a couple of mines. Uh, just a challenge with violence or coercion, one for dealing with mercy and whatnot, and that score. Uh Possibly, Coercion. pardon the command roll. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not really sure that that actually falls under coercion. However, yeah, I would true. be willing. That was a domineering, I don't know, domineering presence. I, I mean, would be yeah, willing like... to take it out of uh, the heritage, anyways. For it's, the next it's move thing. or be moved. <laughs> like that's why. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, two actually on the violence or coercion is uh, punching grind on that. True. You did punch yeah. Grind in the face. It had cost uh, Grind stress, so it was a functional punch. Yep. So express your beliefs, drives, heritage, or background. Uh, I'm going to go with drives for the holes a couple of times there. The holes, and I don't care, I'll kill this person and their wife just for the money. Oh, yeah, I'll take that as more easily there. And struggled with issues from visor trauma. <laughs> Not really, except for maybe on Paranoid with the gang, but I don't know if that's actually... I, honestly, you... I'd say the other way around. You you get one for the vice because you dropped your orphanage vice. You're like, this doesn't work for me anymore. Like, I'd say you get one for that rather than one for the Paranoid angle, because the Paranoid angle, like, did it affect anything in real life? But Fair your enough. dropping of that orphanage vice definitely affects your real life. If that yeah. counts as one, I would say two because you took the money from Mercy and then you bolted. You're like, all right, cool, bye. <laughs> like, there's like, also, oh, I think, should be somewhere? XP no. if 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 they're not already at two XP. Either the beliefs or drive the beliefs or drivers might you want to put at one because you're specifically getting the kids to find your sister. Ah, fair enough. Okay, so with all the different things that have been chucked. We now have enough for two on each, so I'm just yeah. going to not try and figure out which one is which. That's there fair. Yeah, there. many of them are, are double dipping, or not that they they could be in either. They could yeah. they could be in like many different places. Perfect. Okay, and Hicks. All right. Edit. So every time I roll a desperate action, I already did that. Every time I dress a dress a challenge with rhetoric or destruction, I think <laughs> I get two for rhetoric. Yeah. <laughs> Um, beliefs, drives, heritage, or background. Um, I'd say maybe one for, like, my personal weird obsession with the tunnels. Just like, let's, we're moving, let's figure that out. Or something with getting, like... What about one for the diluting of guilt? Hmm? What about one for the diluting of guilt? Yeah. I, I counted yeah. that as rhetoric. Like, my... Okay. my the idea that the guilt doesn't just lie with the... That's all, that was part of like a rhetorical argument that I was making to them. Mm-hmm. Um, 
I didn't struggle with my vice. It's fun. So <laughs> yeah, you had a party with the gondoliers. It was I, cool. I had a party with the gondoliers. Like maybe they wasn't their favorite thing, but I had fun. Fuck it. It was yeah. a fine time. Like even if they weren't all about it, they, it wasn't like a bad time. Yep. So that's all right. Three. And that's us done. Um, we will be back. I assume next week. I probably really should learn to check these things in advance. I think so. I think so. Yep. Okay. We'll be back next week for episode 13, whereby I hope the number doesn't prove to be true and things start going terribly wrong and we'll die <laughs> in the diet. But, you know, we'll see. Um, Wait, so... Oh, God. The amount of time we've been playing Blades is just, like, because of, like, pandemic stuff, time has lost all meaning. I did not realize we were at 13 episodes of Blades. So we that have makes now 14, 14 weeks with like only three or four off in the middle there of yeah. the straight playing Blades at this point. 14 including the episode zero, you're right. Yeah. All right. That's well, a lot more than I thought we had I'm going to go download <laughs> Pokemon because a friend just <laughs> bought it for me. Uh, we'll be back next week. Yeah. yeah. Only blades. Only blades. Yep. <laughs>